Hey guys, Max here. Back with some more luck, be a landlord. Uh, we had just finished the final floor. And with that, I'm returning back to my original goal of getting all the achievements in this game. So, let's get started. I'm just going to hop on to floor one. Play a normal run. And try and get something crazy going to where we can survive forever. Don't know how that's going to look like. Um... I think it's gonna be weird because I have like habits I have to like survive in the higher floors now. Here we can just be super greedy. And maybe we only go for like a single energy maybe. I don't wanna be too greedy and just become like a caveman, like only looking for crabs or something. But yeah. I'm not going I'm not sure. Let me think. But yeah, let me know if you guys have watched multiple episodes. Have I been improving? Because I'm a little bit worried that. I'm not getting better at yapping, you know, which is the main reason <laughs> I'm just making these videos because the gameplay is one thing, but I want to get better at talking and the only way to get better at things is by, you know, kind of reflecting. Um, and I've been playing so much, maybe I feel like I'm not reflecting on what, because I don't know what people like in the previous episodes. I have no idea why certain episodes are more popular than others. I mean, I'm, I'm sure the thumbnail helps, but... I don't just want people to click on it, I want people to actually watch it and enjoy it, and yeah, so if you have watched multiple episodes, let me know what you guys like, it really helps out, because I, I I can watch them by myself, but I, I can only assume, and like, is it because of the thumbnail, is it just because YouTube algorithm, was it some tags I used, was it the time I posted it, like, I have no idea, there's so many different factors to, like, it's just better for me just to keep uploading and playing the game. And yeah, I, I don't even want to think about it, is what it's come down to. But I do want to get better, so let me know what you guys enjoy. And I'll try and focus on those things. Uh, what am I thinking about? Let's just play. I'm like spending so much time thinking on floor zero. We just, we just need to live for a long enough time and eventually you'll get like a crazy build. That's what it, that's all. The longer I played this game, the more catchy the music has become to me. So the main thing for going crazy in this game is getting a lot of multiplication and a lot of synergy is involved in that. Currently we got some miners. This will give us a huge boost in money. We can just kind of chill now. I, I know we got a toddler of jack o that I skipped, but I just want these miners to share the ore. Preferably. So I'm not going to add anything right now. Okay. Some lucky pebbles. That's what I like to see. Increase our odds on finding better items. I can finally make a flower build work. I know that is one of the achievements to make flowers go crazy. And this is like the only setting in which I could actually have that happen. Because flowers suck. They, uh, <laughs> you can't convince me otherwise. You have to, there's like bees, rain, and flowers. And the average value of all of these is so low. The bees and the rain don't buff each other. So the only thing getting buffed is this one dollar flower. And it takes up so much space. It's just like I have I have a hatred against the flower build because I keep I try to make it work so many times, and I just can't make it work. Um, it's because you don't take the, you don't take enough flowers. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, you you try and find a bunch of flowers. It's, it's like going cultist. It's just like it doesn't work at the end of the day. I'm pretty lucky finding rain right now. Wow, six dollar flower. That's crazy. That's what I've been missing out on this entire time. We got an amethyst super early. It's pretty nice. I don't know what it is. It just feels so relaxing to play floor one now. Mining pick, yeah, this, the, the run's over. We got the dwarven anvil mining pick combo. Um, unless we get super unlucky, which is possible. We have a golem in the remove list. I gotta go for it. I gotta go for it. Okay, we got the void stone. It's not terrible. I'm just ignoring this pumpkin. Chill, like, if it was like a challenging run, I would go for the toddler. But we're like a hundred dollars over rent already. Uh, I'm just mega chilling. Um, more ore or rabbit. Rabbits could give us fluff, which it will increase our item odds. And I just want to look for rare items at this point. Hmm. Bum, bum. Going infinite is still pretty tough. More removal is 
essential. And golden carrot is also essential. So I'm gonna maybe find us really nice items. And I'll take Nori. So I am gonna add a lot of fluff ideally. So yeah. <coughs> Bless you. Sorry about that. Lucky capsule, two rerolls. This could be what we're looking for. Maybe a Dane, maybe a geologist. A lot of different things here. Maybe uh, a mine. I'm gonna reroll. I'm gonna reroll. A general. I'll take the fluff. <laughs> we we have to reroll for like the high roll. Reroll for the high roll. You know you know what I'm saying though. You get it. Just we're playing on like fast speed basically here. Just looking for the infinite run. And then I'm gonna go through the achievement list and start banging things out that I can. Some of the achievements are like open two mega chests before turn 12, which is like, I, I don't even know how I'm ever going to have that happen to me. Cause that's finding two very rares and opening them before turn 12. That's insane. I mean, one way is just to look for shiny pebbles and fluff and just try and max out your luck. We have eight removal. Let's go ahead and remove whatever we don't want. Take some bomb. Okay, we just want to remove anything that's not luck related. So cherries, pearls. I regret adding this flower. I have no idea why I added them, but we'll leave them alone for now. Eh. Okay, well, we'll chill. Remove the peach. The sapphires eventually could be consumed by a geologist. We're sticking up this mining build for now. I don't know why I took the hex destruction. It's an addiction at this point. It's like swindled me so many times. Essence capsule is amazing. That's gonna give us more scaling. Okay, we have. Uh, okay, well, I'm not worried about money. We're, we're good for money. I'm just gonna skip and only look for synergy and luck. Okay, we're removing the destruction capsule. That is, that's all it takes. You've convinced me. I have infinite removal. I don't even know why I added you. I, I don't need you to remove duds. That's. The, it feels so good in higher floors when you have like five duds on your screen and then the hero comes, the destruction hex, and it removes them for you. It feels great. It's like you game the system. You took a negative and you made it a positive. But here it's just fully negative. Another lucky capsule. Amazing. Got some rerolls for it also. Okay, give it to me. Give it to me. Uh, buffing dwarves. Sure. And I'll take the instant ramen. And I'll take the pizza. Or uh, fertilizer is amazing. Maybe we go like a watermelon build. Yeah, I'll try it out. Oh, okay. You say so. Oh, they're looking at each other. No, no, you're not tricking me again. Nice try. You're kicked off the team. I'm keeping the cats around because there's some really nice cat synergy in the game. Okay, what am I thinking about here? Oh, let's go, go next. We just need to, we need to focus on one build, get a really high number, and then we can just remove everything. So hopefully sunglasses or a bunch of Midas bombs and not like a telescope or something. We, we just hunt for synergy now, that's it. I'm um, skipping. I want to find a dwarf. Seeds. I, I need to remember I can add seeds now. Hey, what is. Let me read what this does. Oh, the spin. Okay, so it's just a worse version of fertilizer. I mean, it is very rare. So I could get a bunch of seeds and play like the greedy option and maybe try and transform multiple of them into. I might transfer multiple of them into a watermelon, which I think is the better option. Let's get rid of the flower shenanigans. We're probably going to go back to it eventually. Can get rid of the monkey. And yeah, that's, that's it for now. We might also just die. It's perfectly possible. Like how much rent? Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. I don't know why we're so good. Probably we haven't found a dwarf yet, which is unfortunate. Medium capsule? Sure. It's five dollars. Capsules are a lot of fun. They've added so many great items in this game. Like this, 
initially when I first started the game, I kind of felt like all the end game builds are the same, and they they are to a certain degree. There's enough like filler items, like the hexes and the capsules. I think without that, the game would be very boring and dry. Um, I like these the lock boxes also. Like the chests are fun. These non like permanent. Oh, I don't know. They're just like not clear value. It's it's more than just the money. Everything else is just about the money. These give you something else, which I like, or they like have more effects. I don't know. One thing I do wish is that there was more synergy apart from just multiplication. Like the omelet's cool. I like the crab a lot. You know what? No, I take it back. There's a lot of cool things. It's not too linear. Um, we'll see when we play the mods. I'm just gonna keep adding cats because if we get lucky cat or something, that's gonna go huge. Say not a safe on ore. Yeah, I'm chilling for a little bit. I need to lock in because we're falling behind. I can just sense it now. I got like a spidey sense. This is permanent. This is not, but it's amazing, so. Bum, 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 bum. I'm falling behind, but I wish I could take this. Take the dishwasher. We're skipping, we could go for Midas. I'm gonna keep skipping here. I'll go for the moon. Nice cat buff. Yeah, let me disable telescope. The main reason I got telescope is in case we don't find a normal telescope, we can uh, use it later on in the game to get huge rolls. We got a lot of cats. Don't mind giving them some milk. Okay, we can get rid of a miner. And I'll chill. It's been a while since we went for an endless run. I've been like really focused on climbing floors. Um, so it feels like weird to like think super far ahead. It definitely is different. I'm not sure if we're even gonna get an endless run out of this because I'm not. I'm seeing the potential, but it's not there yet. I, I just need to hope that we find the right items to hit it. Yeah, I probably skipped so many goldfish because I forgot about fish tank. Hopefully not. That'd be pretty frustrating to watch. Sink capsule. We got a lot of spins. I mean, we got a lot of arrows. It's just like it's. This would be a good financial decision, but. Uh, but but I mean, what if we just go all arrows in Robin Hood? That sounds kind of fun, actually. That sounds pretty fun. This removes uh, rain out of the uncommon list. We're gonna like be finding a lot of uncommons, so that'll be good. I don't like the item that removes the suits out of the uncommon list, also, just so we don't find them anymore. Look at him go. Little plus six, minus four, that's profit. And they said pointing was rude. This this actually could be a fun build. Going for just like Robin Hood and a bunch of arrows? I never thought of this before. Cause he's gonna buff them and they, the arrows could buff themselves. Almost. Skip. Reroll. I right, would we'll take a real capster uh, capsule. So this is gonna get three dollars now. It's gonna get doubled by the golden arrow. See, thinking here. Yeah. Thankfully, the, it doesn't multiply the negative, even though it should be. I don't know. The games are kind of weird about multiplying negatives. I just expect it. When you like multiply negative four, it's gonna make you go like negative sixteen or something instead of becoming a positive. Little nerd moment, but 
it it doesn't ever make negatives into positives when you multiply stuff in games. I don't know. I don't know why not. But that's how the map should work. Ooh, these arrows are huge. You're getting really lucky on them. Another pillow? Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Mega chest or permanent buff. The things we're not using. Maybe grave robber. We could do a spirit build after. Take the treasure map. We don't need a guillotine yet. We are gonna guillotine ourselves at the end of the run. Now yeah, just take it. And lucky cat's amazing. And cleaning rag is really good. I'll just take the Kyle the Fur Knight though. I mean, wait, what am I talking about? This is multiplied by two, but this is going to give them more money. I'll just multiply it by two. Turn out monkey buff. I could have took the flag to get a bunch of money. Geologist or Dame? We just buffed all of the rocks, so I'm just going to take a Dame instead. And I'll take a shrine. We have the ramen, so we could skip here to get double items. I'm going to wait till I get better at, like, odds. Maybe after... We get guaranteed rares. I could skip and get more guaranteed rares. I don't know if it works that way. I could hope. I could hope. The song has grown on me. I will say. Lucky capsule? Sure. Yeah, the moon. I'm surprised it doesn't buff cats either. I guess it wouldn't. Maybe it's like a balance decision. I wanted to go watermelon build, then we switched. Now we're going. I thought I parked a lucky capsule. That was like barely English. I thought I parked a lucky capsule there. I guess I didn't. We don't have a guillotine. Right, yeah, it's gonna skip. That's five removes. Um, our cats are doubled. Our things are doubled. We got so many items, so many options. Let's get rid of the miner. I wanna find dwarves instead. And yeah, that's it. I can get rid of the wine, I guess, but a little bit unnecessary, I think. The golem? Do we need more money? Not really. Okay, I'll take a sun. Just for the item that buffs sun and moons. If they're adjacent to one another, it'll give them a permanent global effect, which is really strong. No idea why I added a few game capsule. Oh, huge rabbit. Love these golden arrows. I don't know why it gave me so many at the start. Okay, can we skip? Yeah, I'm skipping here. And if they're bad, we're um, skipping the item to get two. But I love Midas. Time seven, what? I thought it was time five. Uh, but we're... I'm gonna reroll. Wait, it didn't give me the very rare. Oh, okay, wait, because it's not a guaranteed very rare. Oops. Reroll again. Who would I get rid of here? Dane? Nah. No. Okay, frozen pizza is a that's a that's a take. Doubling my items. That's a good one. There's like a trifecta of infinite items being the sunglasses, which gives you infinite remove. The recycler, which gives you infinite rerolls. And the pizza, it's okay. Not even the pizza. The uh, the item that lets you skip a rent to get a, a guaranteed rare item. That's the third one. Because when you have infinite money, you, you don't need to get extra items from pizza. I, I even disable it eventually. What you need is to get more rare items. That's what really gives you the scaling. Because you only have so much space. You These are like symbols. Like, you don't need... I eventually just skip every single time. Um, I don't think I never asked this capsule. We're entering Endless after this payment, and rent's gonna go up by $500 each turn. And we're, we're okay, but we're definitely not strong enough to sleep on that. We need some more multiplication here. And we need to commit to a build. 
Um, we're still kind of all over the place here. Take another item capsule. I, I want to come up to these, this arrow build. If I'm being honest. Because that's definitely the most fun thing here. Just have a bunch of arrows constantly pointing. I think I might take Golem. Uh, I mean, we haven't seen a single dwarf all game. All game. Um, this might be a mistake. I can always remove it before it pops if we don't find a Golem. Skip. Skip. Like, we're not finding any commons, so the chances of us finding a Golem are going to be so slim. Not a Golem, uh, a dwarf. Jeez. I'm worried. <laughs> oh wait, there's these... Okay, when the game started, you didn't have to fight the boss on floor one, I guess. Now that I've reached a certain point, it makes me fight the boss anyways. I'll just take mining pick for the money. I'll take the permanent buff on the cats. And these all suck. I mean, it's permanent banana puff, but I'm not playing bananas. I'm not playing any of these. This is fruit. I'll help clean up the board. Beastmaster gives us multiplication. I don't have that much multiplication. I'm gonna go for Beastmaster. And I'll go for the wild card. And I'll go for the coin, probably. Oh, we already removed the coins. Maybe Lefty the Rabbit? We don't even have to enable him. We could just disable. Oh, no, we can't. I'll just take Lefty the Rabbit. Alright, what do we got here? We have one reroll if we don't like anything, but I see an Eldritch. That's it. I don't see anything else I like here. This might be a reroll for me. Looking for arrows? Or I'm looking for like a Highlander is okay. If we were super ahead, I'll take a Lucky Capsule here, but we're not, so I'll take a Highlander. It's a pretty good thing to be multiplied. Okay, this is scary. I'm gonna remove that right away, I forgot. I saw a Hex of Destruction, I thought it was my friend. That is a mistake. The best thing I'm seeing right now is a Rabbit build. That's what we have the most multiplication for, I'm moving the Golem. We can play rabbits for now and then switch over to the arrow build. We can just keep the golden arrows. The best thing about arrows in this game is that they scale with whatever you play. The better your board is, the better the arrows are. Which makes them very nice. Right. I do want to... I think once we go into endless mode, the debuffs go away, so it doesn't matter what he does. Yeah, we're fine. It doesn't matter. More rabbits? Don't mind if I do. Rabbits are, I think, one of the easiest ways to go for an endless build, if you have like something that consumes fluff. So they give you high luck, and you can clear them really easily. The fluff at least gives you high luck. Um, I think it's the best thing for luck in the game, outside of items. Like... Oh, none of this matters. Okay, endless mode. Um, like, see, getting to 1,500 is going to be pretty tough. Okay, never ride Robin Hood. Never skip. Fertilizer. Take the piggy bank just in case. You never know what might happen. I think I want to get a geologist, get rid of all these rocks, and get rid of the cats. Okay, that's absurd. Can I, can I look at that again? What happened? So it multiplied the amethyst and the wild card copied it, is my guess? I think so. 
Because it does have a base, so it's well, so it's pretty good. I don't really know how the wild card works. Um, I made it have like a bunch of money, but I thought because I used to think that it took the like if you multiply this by two, it would take the multiplied by two and then it can get multiplied. But it takes whatever the base is. At least last time I checked, that's how it worked. But like when the item it has the like, like yellow multiplication, I don't know if that goes first. I don't know the order. Pretty easy to check, actually. I mean, we can see next time a wild card is next to something. Uh, don't want to get too cocky here, though. But I think I think we're going infinite. I need to disable guillotine, also. That would be terrible. I've accidentally enabled guillotine before, and it's it's a mess. Nice. Just take the utility and skip everything else. I think... I don't like making the game instant while I can still perish. But we're pretty far ahead of the curve currently. I'm gonna stop adding random items that I don't need. It makes it hard to enable and disable things. Oh yeah, like that's a terrible roll. Okay, never mind. I'm not... And keep adding random items because I might need them. Okay, this should be a pretty big roll unless the arrow is whiff. Still 100. Let us let's use the adoption papers and get some more rabbits. Oh my gosh! Good job, good job. So we're gonna just keep finding arrows, man. Huh? X-ray machine? Do we still have ore? Oh, we got rid of the ore. We're not going mining, right? I mean, take the guillotine. Helps us clean up potential billionaires. And I think with that, I'm gonna go ahead and turn into instant. Feel pretty confident now with this run. Increasing the rarity. Keep all the arrows. Black cat. I'm gonna have to skip on you, I think. I mean, that's the easy infinite, no? No, we have to find. We, there's no chance we get more cats, actually. Or, like, luck is too high up. Rabbits are the way to go, for sure. Okay, I think we get rid of the cats at this point. Probably get rid of pebbles, too. We don't have that much removal, actually. I need to find something to help with that. Oh, I forgot I was getting two items. I skipped so much there. I keep skipping two items. I'm not used to it. Okay. Walk pick. Fertilizer. Okay, I think the plan's pretty clear at this point. Arrows and rabbits as our main potential here. We could go for a pirate too. Sounds kind of fun. I don't particularly want to though. Okay, let me, let me start looking at the achievements that we're going for. Just go to achievements and things we have not earned yet. Have a seed grow into a void fruit that isn't destroyed during the same spin. I don't understand. I guess it, I don't know how that's even possible. Have a key to store two or more symbols during a spin. Have an oyster add two pearls during the spin. A diver and a geology. See, these are all things that we could like set up once we clear our board, so... I don't think we're at that point yet, actually. I think I need to get infinite removal first. I'll take Nori the Rabbit. I'll take this and disable it. Take the, 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 the golden arrow. That's that's basically infinite removal, given enough time. 
Uh, no more Danes. We can even get rid of... I want to get rid of all the rocks at this point. We just want luck. Robin Hoods is fine. I think we actually don't want any more Robin Hoods. I think we're like at a good point of Robin Hood. Unless we get some way to make him proc instantly. Shrine's funny. We can get like funny shrine combos going, removing people. That actually might be the easiest way to get the achievement for Zara, like murdering enough people. Yeah, our luck is like crazy high right now. We're just finding very rares constantly. Okay, there's Zara's contract. Um, I'll take it. And I'll take the compost heap, I'll take the shedding season, I'll take the golden arrow. Oh, I want to disable that. Yeah, I just have a habit to like always take items, which makes these infinite runs a little bit annoying. I think I can stop going for bronze arrows. I mean, it's okay for now. Okay, golden arrow. We want all golden arrows, ideally. Sounds kind of tough, yeah. Maybe not. Just finding loads of them. Hmm. My checklist of things is go for a flower and go for General Zaroff. You still need to like get into the millions before I'm comfortable. But I think at this point I can just go crazy. Okay, I'll go for the infinite scaling on the rabbits. Shrimp more fluff. We're just, we're just honestly even looking for... I don't know what we're looking for. I'm looking for more items. Okay, Void Portal is amazing. Okay, we got a lot of removal. Let's go ahead and get rid of the dame. Get rid of any rocks we got. Um, right now, the thing clogging our system is going to be this fluff. I think I get rid of the sun, and the watermelon, the highlander, all this stuff. It's a little bit too greedy for me. Okay. And I I can keep this amethyst here. It's a really good base, but no, nah, we don't need it. Okay, now we just have multiplication and fluff and rally. Like, this should be a really strong board. Yeah, okay, we got 1k there. Once we get rid of this fluff, which we're going to use with an item, that gets rid of fluff, hopefully. Eventually. Number. Egg card. I think it's a very rare bomb. Hmm. What am I looking for? Okay, skip. 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 Credit card's amazing. So is sunglasses, though. Credit card's a time saver. Sunglasses, well, we already have a removal, honestly. I don't think we even, like, we need it. But this would help more in the short term. Like, this will help us get to the point where we can just spam rolls. Okay, what are we looking for? I think we get rid of these brown, like, the... The bronze arrows. I think we could just play golden arrows, honestly. Silver arrows are fine. We just need to get rid of this bluff, and then we can go huge. Okay. I thought it, I thought it would give me more items. Is this it? Hmm. That's okay. This will still be super duper useful when we're like going for different combos. Uh, I'll take the another very rare item, and I'm really looking for the Fluff Annihilator. Kind of put myself in a tough spot. But we got enough money to like it, where I can just do this a bunch of times. Like, I know I'm skipping arrows and whatever else, but the build's good enough. Oh, okay. Well, I'll go to the next one, no problem. 
That's why I like having a pillow. It also stops you from skipping the items accidentally. Because it makes you ask, like, do you want to go to the next thing, whatever. Yeah, lucky carrots. We got enough removal, but it doesn't hurt. Could add another moon. Okay, that makes them common, so hopefully less of those will pop up. Okay, there's clear sky. We got the normal version, so we don't even need a sun. I, okay, I'm, I don't even like. I'm trying to think of like what item I would want. I could add more golden arrows and things, but we just need to get rid of the fluff. And I want a pillow. I really want a pillow, so I can lay my head down while I do this. One. Out of there. The moons are AoE, they can so those are super strong. Also, don't they give yeah, it gives times threes. Beastmaster only gives times two. Like I could stop adding fluff, but it doesn't make it like I just need to get rid of all it all at the end of the day. Okay, I'm gonna disable the credit card until we need to like look for a specific item. So we're not looking for anything right now. We're not looking- I always say item is so simple, like I get confused between the two a lot when I'm talking. But um, only item we need is a pillow. It's very important. Like this I like it lets me not have to think at all is another benefit. Which is, you, the less you have to think, the faster you can roll. And this just comes down to rolling really fast. Um. <laughs> Nothing. Shedding season. We're about to get overtaken by the fluff now. Comfy pillow. Okay, we're good now. Now we just do this. And while we're looking for the other item. Sure. Oh, these matter. I'm just not going to take anything we don't need. There's some achievements for seeds, doing some weird stuff. So I'm gonna pick those. I'm just looking for the lint remover. Hit okay, dishwasher's great. We're not really worried about hitting guillotine. We'll eventually hit it. Okay, there's a lint roller, but that's only six. I need the normal lint roller. Capsule machine's pretty good. Checkered flag's pretty good. Lint did I get rid of? I got rid of a lot. Okay, let's disable. Shedding season. Uh, I think we're just looking for items at this point. I think we. This is the build. This should give us enough money to just never have to worry about anything. We could maybe start adding things for like the flowers and get ready to remove all the rabbits. Speaking of, let me disable you too. Undertake is pretty fun. Okay. Hmm. Is this good enough? I 
I think, yeah, I'm, I'm like trying to realize what I'm missing. I, I'm missing the sunglasses at this point. But... Okay, no, I'm not. We're not missing... We're missing infinite rerolls, but... I, we're good. We're good. We can just roll a couple of times. Stack up some removal, like up to 100. I keep doing this. And then I'm gonna start looking more. I still have a lint remover, but... It's why we just manually remove it. It's not fun of the day. Okay, let's start going through the achievements. Have King Midas adjacent to a golden egg. Have eight or more candy. Let's just go for the... Let's remove everything. I want to get a clear, clear slate. Maybe... Oh, okay. Well, I, I was going to say maybe I keep the arrows and go for, like, multiplication things. But no, it's okay. I can't be too attached to things at this point. Just need to focus on achievements. I'm always like worried about dying, but the game scales up so slowly that it's like impossible to die when you have a large amount of money in Endless. Because the red payment only goes up by 500, which it just takes forever to reach like a significant amount. Okay, have rain agent to the seed that grows into a flower. Yeah, well, let's just see what we get. Is there any achievements for a thief? Like, our luck is really low. Okay, there it is. Now... Oh! There we go. We got it. Okay. Next achievement. <laughs> um... Have an oyster add two pearls during a spin. See these? I need, like, disable my luck items. This is what I was saying. You don't want to add too many items, because now it's, like, kind of annoying to look through stuff. But there's a lucky carrot. And... Having a bunch of candy was one of the achievements. We can go for that. All right, I'm back. That was kind of a, a long break, but while on break, I was thinking that I kind of need a goal for these achievements. I can't just sit here for hours on end. What am I going to go for? Let's see. We're currently at 109 achievements. Let's go for 10 achievements today. And I'll see how long that takes. And from there on forth, we can kind of have a better plan for all of these achievements. So... Let's see. There's, I think the common ones are a little bit tough because we're not finding that many commons right now. But having six or more cultists is a good one. And going for eight or more candy. So let's go for that. Uh, skip. Skip. Once we get infinite rerolls, it should be a lot easier. And is there some other luck thing that I have? Because it feels as if I'm not... I'm not finding that many low tier items. Let's go ahead and use the very big bomb. Yeah, like, this is not normal to have, like, full on commons in a single common. See what else we can go for maybe like let's look for something that's uncommon oh uh, have a seed grow into a watermelon without the help of fertilizer essence have a joker increase the value of five or more symbols during the spin have rain adjacent to a seed that grows into a flower have a dame destroy martini while adjacent to a diamond have Mrs. Fruit destroy a peach that adds a seed that grows into a peach. Destroy three or more chemical sevens during a single spin. That's tough. And we're still not finding anything. I thought suits would be... Okay, there's an oyster. There we go. Geologist and a diver sharing a pearl. Happened first turn. Pretty, oh, pretty lucky. Let's go ahead and get rid of these guys now. 
Three. We're only finding rares here. Let's just go ahead and skip that. Only uncommons here, so this is perfect for a suit. Unless, oh, I think I have the item that makes suits commons. I'm skipping so much here. Uh, let me disable that. Oh, I'm gonna enable this. This is an essence. There it is. It removes them every time also. So that's been messing us up a lot. I was wondering, I was like, something's off here. It's because they were common. There we go. Okay. That's the Joker done. Seven more achievements to go. Um... You know what? Let's go for the flower. Because that's more entertaining than a lot of these. We're still looking for cultists, but... Oh, we removed... That's okay. We'll add a flower eventually. Let's finally make a flower build work. This is all it took. Going into infinite mode and having infinite resources. That's how you make flowers work. saw one when I skipped past him. I'm not sure though. There's a lot of like circular brown objects, which makes it hard. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six more cultists. Complete. Okay. Six more achievements to go. Um, have three or more suns adjacent to the same flower. Add another key just to make sure that we get what we're looking for. Let's enable the telescope we had from before. Pop. Spin. That should use all the keys at once. Give us have a key destroyed two or more spins. Have a key destroyed two or more things during a spin or something like that. I don't know. I don't know the exact wording, but that's achievement five done. Five more to go. I think at this point I'm gonna look for diamonds martinis and suns and farmers so let's enable our luck Sure, I've skipped over one or two by accident here. I'll just add the sun. Okay. Three or more suns adjacent to the flower. We're gonna still need to keep them. Is the martini. And now I'm desperately looking for a farmer. Just the sun. Okay. Let's uh, clean up our board. We don't have to go for cultists anymore. I'm hoping. I really don't want to get rid of them and then like, oh no, you need a bunch of cultists or something. Okay. That's the only cultist. I think there seems to be an achievement related to each uh, item. That's what it looks like to me. Peaches. We're gonna get buffed. Hopefully, transform. It needs to be a little better. Oh, there's another peach. Get two seeds. Have a farmer adjacent to the seed that grows into a rare symbol. Okay, that's complete. Uh, we still need to have a peach turn into a peach, but to do that, I think we have to disable our fertilizer. Which, because peaches are uncommon. 
Um, here it is. Yeah, only rares. So that should help out of that. Peach. Have a seed grown to a watermelon about the help of fertilizer essence. Nice. Only I think there's only one more seed achievement left. That's how the peach turn into a peach. Infinite value. So that's all the seed-related things done. Oof. I'm on a roll now. I want to get this flower to a gajillion. Have a have rain adjacent to a seed that grows into a flower. Okay, we're not done quite yet. None of these have turned into flowers. I'm going to keep going the peach route. Because I think that's the easiest way to get seeds at this point. Might just start adding farmers. I'm just looking for a sun here. That's good. This is not going to be fun to edit. <laughs> Uh, that says a lot. If it's not fun to end it, then I don't think it's probably fun to watch. But, you know, I, I, I'm i committed to this. Maybe not for the YouTube, but this is more for me. I want to get the 100% achievements, or at least try to. the most you can get. That's this exact number here. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Ooh, that was tough. Okay. I, I'm like considering calling stops there for today. We are now at 121 out of 186. We've gone up 15%. Uh... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just do this a couple of times for fun. Oh my god, this is the most I've ever made, though. The suns do have the highest multiplication in the game, so it makes sense. Alright, let's clear it up. Clear it all up. Goodbye. game like crashed i think okay that was weird that took forever game is getting unstable okay i see there's something of dubs have five or more diamonds have five or more hearts have five or more clubs have five or more okay say less Diamonds. Diamonds are done. Oh, it's because I ignore the black suits. So diamonds are done. I'm gonna re-roll. There's an orange. Okay, we can get rid of Mrs. Mrs. Fruit now. And gloves. Hearts. 
There we go. Okay, no more red suits needed. I'm gonna leave them in for now, just because this doesn't hurt. Reroll. It's a black suit. Pearls? Then he's gonna get rid of. Them. Never mind, I can't do that. Have a tomb, add a bunch of things at once. You can do that. I have to do a lot of cleaning up. Have five or more clubs. Okay, let's get rid of the clubs now. Okay, let's pause it. Or, no, we want it to go off. Right? We want to get two strawberries. Oh, yeah, because she eats the banana too. Okay, oh my god. Three. Have two seeds grown to two apples. Okay, we just got three achievements for one. Have two seeds grown to two apples. Have a banana peel that gets eaten and slips some up. And have two strawberries grown at a single turn. Okay, pretty good. That was value. Let's get rid of her. The fruit. Okay, there's the spade. That should be it for spades. We can get rid of them now. Okay, have a tomb, add five or more spirits during a spin. I Okay, sure. Uh, I think it got destroyed by something. Oh, is it just it has a chance to be destroyed? Okay. Okay, there's a beer. Okay, they shared it. Nice. Oh, that was a tough one. Um, we're looking for a crow. I don't want to like, click too fast when it actually gets rid of crab or something weird. Because it, it is lagging now. Every time I want to remove, it's kind of funny. Let's enable the telescope and hope that uh, the beehive would go off. It, it'll eventually happen. Okay, have a beehive add honey and destroy by a bear at a single turn. That's good. Not what we're looking for. Oh yeah, I'm looking for a beast master also. There we go. Have three or more bears share a piece of honey. There we go, oyster have add two pearls. Oh, that, that took a little bit too long. Okay, now I need to get a snail back because the diver got rid of it. Oh no, he's still alive. Oh, but he got rid of all the crabs. That's, that's a mistake. Let's now get 20 coins or more. Okay, that procked, nice. Get rid of the snail now, get rid of the beast masters. Um, yeah. There we go. Destroy three or more chemical sevens during a spin. Yeah, we don't have a single conveyor belt, so that's has a little bit to do with it. Cheese adjacent to milk, omelet, and egg. Okay, that's done. Uh, there we go. I have no idea how that interaction works. That's an interesting one, though. Okay, we're just going for crabs also. Let's not forget about that. Oh, never bartender. I missed him. Oh, five. Oh, thank. I lowered it. That I don't have to worry about that anymore. That took a while. Let's go. Bye, crabs. It's nice knowing you. It's time to drink. This is going to be one of the tougher ones. And especially without... Um, conveyor belt to double the chances. But we're going to get one really drunk pirate or dwarf is the plan. Set now, or I can remove it. Give me that cheap. Nice. 
Back, back drinking. Okay, yeah, I had a feeling, but I don't know how to go down there. Maybe during inventory? Oh, okay. It's so laggy that it's kind of hard to do. This is pretty cool. Okay, it goes up. I was trying to do this, but it would like disappear. Uh, I guess we had to do it from the inventory, not the remove menu. Nice, okay. Woo. I mean, I still would like a conveyor belt. The conveyor belt would make this twice as fast. Alright, let me see. Extra symbol. Anything that makes me add extra items. Just ramen, I guess. Oh, we hit it. Okay. Woo! So, we went from 50% to 76%. We're at 142 out of 186 achievements now. I'm gonna call it there for now. That was a big grind session. We'll probably continue from the save next time. And try and clear the ones we can before we have to... A lot of these achievements I'm seeing, not a lot, but a good amount of them, you have to do during a game because you have to do them before turn 12 or turn 1 or whatever. So that will be interesting, but I'm going to call it there for now. Thanks for watching. If you did, I'm going to try and edit this so it's a little bit more bearable, but it's a grind. Take care, though. Thanks for watching.